Hello crafty friends and welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these dies and stamps to create a thankful for you card. I've got a leaf die, a stitched fishtail banner die, some strip dies, a thankful for you typewriter font stamp and a tree bark stamp. To get going I took a panel of hammered textured white card and put it on my grip mat. I then ran a strip of washi about a third of the way up. I added some sticky notes to act as masks to protect the other two thirds of my card. And then I took some saltwater taffy distress oxide and blended it on the exposed part of the card. And this was to give me about a third of my card nicely blended with saltwater taffy. Once that was done, I took my panel off of my grip mat and put it in my stamp positioner platform. I used a metal ruler to act as a fake edge to butt my card up against. And I did this because I was using quite a chunky silicone stamp and I didn't want it to get squashed near the hinge of the door and using the ruler as a fake wall just to shuffle everything over to the right a bit helps with that. To prepare my stamp I rubbed over it with a vinyl eraser and this just helps the ink stick a little bit better to silicone and acrylic stamps. To stamp the bark texture, because that's what this stamp was going to give me, I used worn lipstick, which is a kind of darker, stronger shade than the saltwater taffy. I had to stamp that a couple of times to get the intensity of image that I wanted. To stamp the other half of the panel, all I did was pop the metal ruler back in to butt my card up against it, but slide the card down the appropriate amount so that I could stamp the image on the other half of the card, as I said. There was a little bit of a gap between the two stamped images, but I was planning to put something over that anyway, so I wasn't worried about that. Once I was happy with my texture, I removed the sticky notes and then I carefully removed the washi tape. I did have a bit of a pickle because when I took the washi tape off, the card underneath did start to tear ever so slightly. So all I did was I warmed the washi tape up with my hairdryer and this just softens the adhesive. And then I was able to carefully, slowly remove the washi tape without any further damage to my card. Next I use the strip dies to cut some strips from smooth white card. I use my Gemini mini die cutting machine. I wanted to add one of the strips to the edge of the blended and stamped part of the panel that I just made. And I thought white might look quite good so I tried the white. Then I thought what if I coloured it with the darker of the two colours that I've already used, the worn lipstick. So I tried that, I just inked some up using a sponge a finger dauber. And then I thought what about maybe some gold glitter cardstock, a nice warm glittery card. So I cut some of that too. And I auditioned all three of them and finally settled on the gold glitter card. I felt it simply stood out better than the other two and brought in some warm shimmer and shine. So I took my tape runner, put some tape on the back of the gold glitter strip and then stuck it down to my card panel about a third of the way in from the left. I did use my T-square ruler to try to help me get it on straight. Sometimes when I use my T-square ruler, I get it on straight, but it doesn't look straight. So it doesn't actually matter if something is on straight, it needs to look straight. So I always double check and look, and then if it still looks wonky, I'll straighten it without the ruler. Once the strip was stuck down straight, I snipped the overhang off with a pair of scissors, put some tape runner on the back of the panel, and added the panel to a hammered textured white card blank. To decorate my panel and to cover up that gap in the bark stamping, 
I wanted to create a nice big leaf. So I die cut one from smooth white card. I blended on some scattered straw distress oxide for a autumnal fall feel. I then added some vintage photo around the edge to give the leaf a bit of interest, a bit of definition. I then brought in a sponge finger dauber that already had some spiced marmalade orange distress oxide on and dobbed this around to add a little bit of variation. You can't see it all that much so I probably could have omitted that step. And to add shimmer and shine to my leaf and to bring in some more autumn colours I used copper metallic paint and spattered that on. Not only does this bring in the shimmer, shine and autumn colours, the paint runs in the embossed veins on the die cut and fills them up so it really brings those out. Once that was dry I put some thin craft foam on the back of my leaf and then stuck it over the gap in the stamping. For my sentiment, I stamped Thankful For You using Worn Lipstick again. This is the darker of the two pinks. I then die cut this out with the stitched fishtail banner. It was obviously too long, but that didn't matter because I wanted to tuck one end of it underneath my leaf. So I snipped that down so it was exactly the right length, put some glue on the back and then snuggled it in to the right hand side of the leaf, roughly around the middle of the card. As a finishing touch I added some gold glitter card circles that I'd previously dyed and put in my gold glitter card circle pot. I arranged them on the card where I wanted them and then used my tweezers to pick each one up and pop a little bit of glue underneath and then replace the circle so everything was exactly where I wanted it. And as a finishing, finishing touch, I used Nouveau Crystal Glaze to glaze the glittery circles. So they've now got a slightly dimensional glossy finish and that really brings out the glitter of the cardstock. And that is this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it come together and that it's given you a few ideas of things you can do with supplies that you already have in your stash. If it has, please do let me know in the comments Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.